family. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Y'all, this is our fifth episode. Fifth episode. All right, y'all. The Fantasy with Sean, John, and Twan. I'm John. We got Twan over here and then Sean to my far right. Uh, and we're going to get into some things today. It was an interesting week one. And also, shout out to my man, Mac. In the background, doing this nation, this nation, this nation. nation. And also, guys, um, if you haven't done so yet, please, please, please go to our Instagram page at the Fantasy with SJT. Once again, y'all, the Fantasy with SJT. Give us a follow, man. Hit the DM, comment section below. If y'all have any fantasy football questions, y'all want us to answer on the show, and uh, we'll do our best to do that. So, uh, let's get into it, fellas. So, what are we talking about today, J. Staff? <sighs> Uh, I think we're gonna get into our what we did this week, this week one. What we, who came up with the W, who came up with the L. You know, we gonna get into that. How close the matchups were. Um, I'm seeing my my matchup up there first, so we can get into mine first. All right, and uh, I went up against uh, Rail Emery, Emery Grove Football. Emory Grove football team. <laughs> Rail, if you're watching, if you're watching, you know, I mean, uh, I feel your pain, my brother. I feel your pain, man. I had to come through in the clutch, though, man. You know, I mean, that's just fantasy football. You know what I mean? You know, I started off uh, started off hot on Thursday night with uh, Clyde and um, Clyde Deshaun. He got some garbage time in there for me, got some garbage points for me. You know, he got, got me 20.7, you know, so uh, – and David Johnson also too, man. David Johnson was on all our lists. Like, what we had him at what top two? Was he our top tens? Was he up there with it? I don't think he's, he's probably top top fifteen. Top, top 15. fifteen. You know, and he put up a, a solid stat line for uh, for me. And then um, also uh, Will Fuller, man. Um, he was heavily involved. I mean, a lot of it came garbage time too. But hey, that's fantasy. You know what I mean? Like that's just it don't matter. Like it ain't about what, what how to get the, the game script. Sometimes that's how it go. So he came up solid for me. Um, and then going into Sunday, I was pretty confident that I was going to run away with it. But uh, Rail came back strong. He <laughs> came back strong, man. Uh, I didn't expect D-Hop to do what he did versus San Francisco, man. I was very surprised at that. And that game could have went – our matchup could have went either way because if D-Hop would have scored that touchdown, which they called back, Rail could have easily won. But – well, like I said, that's fantasy. You know, yeah, I came through. First game for D-Hop. <laughs> yeah. That looked good. That's good. Yeah, he looked that's good, good out there. That's good. He definitely looked good. So here. it's funny when you talk about fantasy. Whenever somebody texts me, da da da, complaining about this, complaining about that, the only thing I text them back, fantasy football, man. <laughs> like that's all it yeah. is, fantasy football, man. It's crazy. So I squeezed, dude. And uh, Sunday night it was very, it was real tight. He had Higby, and I had uh, um, the Rams kicker Slowman. And that first kick, he missed the first kick, man. I was, a little, I was a little worried. I'm like, all right, now, like, Higby is going to come through. I'm like, ah. Yeah, his, his but, tight ends involved, bro. but Higby, somehow, some way, he didn't, he didn't do what he needed to do, and I came out on top. So uh, that was my matchup. So I ended it sad, uh, Sunday night. So Monday I was resting well, got to watch the games without worrying. <laughs> so... So, so what you think about the new field goal kicking rule in the league? Uh, you already know how. <laughs> like, nah, y'all, like, y'all can put y'all input on it. Like, look, if, if it's a 30-yard field goal, I feel like the kicker should get three points, not two. I mean, that's just my opinion, man. Yeah, I, 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 change because that's a routine field goal. Yeah, because if you're kicking a 22, 25-yard field goal, 27-yard field goal, but the kicks you, come, you supposed to get three for that? Like, No. <laughs> But the kicks come harder nowadays. We, we see. I mean, it's, it was a lot of misses this week. I see what you're saying, but still, it, and makes, 40, it makes the 40, league better. Bro. I feel like a 40 yard kick is is deserving of four points. I mean, that's 40 yards. That's not an easy kick. You know what I'm saying? But like, hey, I it, mean, 40 like, yards in the NFL is not supposed to be hard, bro. Like <laughs> they making it hard. <laughs> like, like I said, I mean, I have my opinions on the rule, but I guess everybody got to go by the rule. So, hey. I ain't complaining. I, I called the W, so it don't matter. I mean, I was, no that's don't all matter how you get the that matters. matters. You get the W's and you keep it moving. That's you know, it. I got, of, I got a lot of them like that in my, in my history of play. What they say, it's better to be lucky than good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's why I got the green on. Look at the iris. <laughs> well, I got that green. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the iris. It out. But yeah, look, shout out to Real, though. Yeah, shout out shout to Real. That, that, that was a good game. That was a good game. Good game, though, man. Got a good squad. 
Do mine next, man. Please, man. Get this out the way. Let's talk about this. I don't got really too much to say. You know what I'm saying? All right, look, man. I took the L. I'm going to start with that. Fuck it. I'm going to start with that. L. Amongst us, amongst us, I was non-victorious this week. Yeah. But, uh, man, I took it on the chin. You looking at, if anybody out there was, was looking at this, they was like, dang, like, Twan can't catch a break, you know, like, I mean, you got Josh Jacobs, start of the week, we we all said Josh Jacobs was going to ball, at least I did, I said Josh Jacobs was going to be start mm-hmm. of the week, and my man put up 33.9, currently <laughs> he's RB1, <laughs> I can lead against that. Tough, so, tough, so, tough. So go down to Nick Chubb, you know what I'm saying, Nick Chubb, I mean, the game got out of hand, it's more of a Kareem Hunt type game, but also looking at it, um, my man Levy, uh, <laughs> yeah. Hey, we ain't gonna talk about Levy, man. Y'all already know. Y'all know how I feel. Levy, <laughs> Levy left the game early. Left the game early. He's out for three weeks. Moving on from that. He still have more than Nick Chubb, so I, I know advantage me right there still. But I, you know what I mean? It was what it was. And we, we move on to the wideouts. Um, DJ Moore didn't do what he's supposed to do. My man dropped a touchdown pass. Can you can't do that? You can't. But it's uncalled for. You got to get it how you live, and then. I mean, I played against Calvin Ridley. If anybody could pull up the yeah. rankings from from last week, I had Calvin Ridley around like my top ten. <laughs> but I didn't expect thirty. Like, he was 30. <laughs> like, come on, man! Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, two players put up thirty is hard to beauty, bounce. That's back. the beauty of fantasy. Like, you you expect these players to have a good game, but thirty points. Yeah. I mean, 29, 20, He put up thirty. I don't give a fuck no. I shout out the Knicks. The first half of your jump, but yeah, go ahead. It, it, that, that matchup had a lot of good. Good players involved in that matchup. You did. It was a good. Aaron Rodgers. He surprised me with thirty. Um, yeah, Aaron Rodgers did his thing. I was like in, a, in the beginning. I was in a boxing match. Yeah, right? yeah. it was. You throw a blow. He throw a yeah. blow. Until that fourth quarter. <laughs> Yeah, that's and, then, and then I seen Josh Jacobs running in six yeah. yards. I see Calvin really blocked. <laughs> How do you leave Calvin? Never mind, we're not even getting to that. <laughs> Robert Woods did his thing on Monday night. Like, it was early and often Robert Woods. I feel like mm-hmm. Robert Woods is going to have a good year. If anybody seen that um, Sunday night, sorry. If anybody seen that Sunday night game, Robert Woods did his thing. Uh, Terry McLaurin, for my beloved Washington football team, was matched up with Darius Slay. Still had 8.6. He still, he still did his thing. I mean, he was still solid. Like, I like I like how Washington looked as a, as a whole. I liked how my squad looked. Um, Hunter Henry, he did his thing. I mean, he couldn't get his feet in bounds on one touchdown, but it was what it was. Just going back to it, that's fantasy. Like, take it or leave it, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it just, the ball that didn't bounce my way this yep. week, but you know what I'm saying? It looked, it looked good. He's he's involved. And then I had Fant. I played against Fant on Monday night. And he just, hey, Twan, take this. <laughs> you're, already, you're losing. <laughs> you're losing, but I'm getting yeah. a little bit more to think about. <laughs> Like, like, nah, but you know what I'm saying? Noah Fan is involved. Cortland Sutton wasn't out there. So it was just, just, I mean, he's definitely probably the the number two pass. From what I seen last night, the packing order is probably Sutton when he's in there. Then it's Fan and then it's Judy. Like, I mean, Mm -hmm. Fan was the guy out there. If we go into our flex, um, Oh, I had my oh, I had Alvin Kamara in my flex. I mean, he's really my RB one, but Alvin Kamara had a solid game. Everybody seen the, the primetime game. I mean, it's not much to really talk about Alvin Kamara. I expect him to do that. He's the first pick in our draft. Like, I mean, he had he another player also had a touchdown call back. Yeah, but yeah. we're not going we're yeah, not yeah. going to go into that. Like, <laughs> end of the game, it was a garbage time touchdown, but. Mm-hmm. Every you need every point when it comes to these type of things. Like, yeah, every you got to get it how you live. You got to get it how you live. Yeah. Um, who's, his, who's his flex? Who's in his flex spot? Uh, I, don't, I don't even see it no more. I mean, he had Amari Cooper. <laughs> he had Amari and I, Cooper. And, I and that's my man. I was surprised that Amari hey, Cooper, Cooper did what he did. Cooper looked good I, out there. Amari Cooper <laughs> Cooper go did get look good. Shut Cooper, now. Cooper's but. a good wide out. Like, oh, Cooper look good out there. Like, yeah. Cooper's a good wide out, <laughs> man. Like, we we going we talk about this for years. How, how nah, hey, time, right, time out, time out, time out, time out. Come on, y'all was trying to go on me with Amari Cooper uh, last week with, during the rankings. I, I said, Amari no, Cooper, did, no, he's gonna be, he gonna be up against. I was da, da, da. Yeah, I, 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 I told, told y'all. Top 15 I told y'all, Ramsey. Coop top fifteen. Yeah, you, you, you right. I give you, I give you that. I will give you that. Right. But I was like, looking at, I was looking at. Nah, nah, don't his, start him. No, no, no. Don't drop him too early. Like Cooper's mm-hmm. a good player. Like I wasn't down on Coop this I was year. Saying, don't start. I'm not saying it was his ADP. Like where he was getting drafted, I didn't like it. But Coop is gonna give you some good games. Back to the game. 
That that wasn't a light coup game. Ten receptions for eighty one. Baltimore's defense against Baker Mayfield wasn't feeling too <laughs> dangerous yesterday. <laughs> I mean, or on Sunday. <laughs> Bum. Like, I'm here, like, yeah, I don't care. Nobody says like, come on, bro. Like Baker Mayfield has to go, or OBJ's values shot. <laughs> like, I mean, it, it is. It's like it's, it's not OBJ. If anybody talks about OBJ. Keep him in your lineups and pray because they need to get Case Keenum in there immediately because Baker's not the guy. I put uh, Philly's D had six against Washington. I'm not gonna talk about that. Then uh, <laughs> cool, you know the kickers is the kickers, but overall, like he had some huge games. Yeah, he got huge games. I mean, Nick put up the most points in our league. Yeah, I mean, yeah. don't get me wrong. Like other players, if I would have played other teams, I still would have lost. But <laughs> but it's still doesn't help when you're playing the guy that puts up the most points. Anybody who plays Nick that week, he wins. Like anybody yeah. who plays that team that I played, you're gonna be feeling the same way I do. 0 one going into week two. But it's week one, you know what I'm saying? Rod, Still Rod, early. It's, it's it's real early. I started 0 one last year, I went eleven and three. So we're not gonna sweat that. We definitely not gonna sweat that. <laughs> <laughs> you said who? Nick got damn near two thirty point performances. I know yeah, yeah, no, yeah bro. Yeah. <laughs> so, 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 yeah, yeah, look at yeah, that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that shit, man. It's like that point between that's two ridiculous, players. bro. That's crazy, <laughs> bro. Hey. That's crazy, man. That is crazy. Are <sighs> we going to peas next? Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah, the great one, the great one. He had a good week. Oh, it was all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was all right. For, uh, Yeah, we was going to say, you know. Yeah, like point six more than John. <laughs> yeah. Out of these two, you know, I'm the, I would, I would have I'm the top, played, top um, point scorer the, top you know, of the other week. But we ain't going to talk about that. But, nah, during this matchup, during the beginning of the matchup. You were shaking a little bit. I was shaking. <laughs> <laughs> I was shaking. During the 1 o'clock games, he had three players playing. I had seven. And we were tied. <laughs> I got seven players. He has three. I'm supposed to be ahead. It was supposed to be dogging. It was a supposed shit to be dogging. First, that first one o'clock game yeah. was a shit show. Yeah, he had a quarterback. He had Cam going at one. He had Chris Carson. Oh, Cam killed at one o'clock. He had yeah. Aaron. Yeah. He, had, yeah. he had Aaron Jones. Yeah. Yeah. Aaron Jones. Yeah, All, of yeah. All of them scored touchdowns. All of them scored touchdowns in the one o'clock game. Man, you gonna run them Jones in? Yeah, the first half it wasn't looking good for me, but in the second half, as you can see, I had Dalvin Cook. I mean, he scored. He scored early, but then he got another one in the second half. Adam Thielen came up clutch for me. Twenty-eight garbage time, garbage time points. My man got a he got a nineteen-yard touchdown. Then came around and got the two-point conversion. Thank, thank Aaron Rodgers for that. Got the two-point. <laughs> oh yeah, I thank Aaron Rodgers for that thank for Aaron putting Rodgers. up points. I needed that. Thank Aaron That's Rodgers. the type of game you want for thank, your thank, wide receiver. Thank, thank the you want your receiver no, no, to no, be no, down. No, Green, Green Bay secondary for. Yeah, but but, they, but, the, but Green Bay has a good defense, though. I mean, I don't know what I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. I guess they just eased up at the Thielen end. and Dalvin Cook. <laughs> those are those are elite <laughs> players. <laughs> elite. I, I had Thielen at like seven. <laughs> like you know what I'm saying? Like those are those are ballers. Yeah, but then one o'clock games, man, scary. scary man. But you had Mark Andrews in there. Look at Mark Andrews. Mark yeah. Andrews, yeah, he balled, but it took some time. I mean, he got an early touchdown, but then it took him some time to get some yards. Then he got another touchdown. Dalvin Cook scored another touchdown. Adam Adam Thielen scored another touchdown. Like it was a crazy, um, some crazy events happened in that during them one o'clock games. Crazy evening. Then you go to the four o'clock games. I got Kyler Murray. I'm like against San Francisco. Everybody's like, oh, do you want to start Kyler Murray? Da da da. Well, my man did his thing. Yeah, he was he was a sit in a lot of starting symptoms. Like not if you ours. look, not we, ours. We, we talked about it, bro. We, yeah, because if you go back, if you go back to like last that. year, he scored over twenty three points mm -hmm. both time he played San Francisco. Yeah, he balls. So he, he he likes that matchup. Obviously, like my man Scamper for a twenty two yard touchdown run, that was huge. Huge. Then he threw a touchdown pass to D Hop, but they called it back. Called him at the one. Mm -hmm. Like that would have gave him thirty, but I'll take the twenty six point one. Um, yeah. That's, that's like, I pulled mine out. So four as you can see, Mike <laughs> Thomas, weird. Mike Thomas only got three point two. Who, who thought that was going to happen? Like it's crazy his four o'clock, his four o'clock games, and, it wasn't good for him. He had man. he had Mike Thomas put up three point two. Keenan Allen only put up five point seven. San Francisco's D put up two. Like yeah. the four o'clock games, I got blessed. It's something we got to <laughs> talk about, right? I got now. blessed. <laughs> Michael Thomas scoring three points. Three points. That's, that's, that's <laughs> perfect week to play Michael Thomas because that, that will never happen never again. I don't think that will ever happen again. again. Never. And I put it on 
anything. Any, I mean, I'm not gonna say never. Insane but no, nah. nah, he would not have lessened. Yeah, we didn't talk yeah. about your defense, which well, is something we'll, that we, we, we'll we need to talk about. There. We need to talk about the Saints' <laughs> defense. But something that will never happen again is. Michael Thomas being held to three. I don't think he's ever been held at 3.2 in his career. <laughs> yeah. Like, perfect <laughs> week to play Michael NFL. Thomas. I'm going to happen. So that's the, yeah, you talk about a great week. I mean, I'm happy that Alvin Kamara was the yeah. beneficiary of all that, but pretty much, uh, Michael Thomas, bro, you you caught a break because that's the difference. Hey, I caught a. All the four, yeah. like, I Mike, like Michael Thomas, Keenan like, Allen, and then yeah. come, going into Monday night, I'm up 52 points. He has Juju. And Juju. Um, and Evan Ingram and, and Chris kicker. Boswell from the Pittsburgh Steelers. So, like, going into Monday night, I knew I was going to win, but I was still scared because yeah, Juju, Juju was looking alive. Like, Juju is back. No, Juju's back. If you got he's Juju back. in your he's leagues, back. he's back. Yeah, like, yeah. he looks he, he looks like he's in shape. He's ready yeah. to go. I mean, like, like, he was in shape last year. He's got yeah. Big Ben throwing. Big, ben, big throwing Ben's back. That's big. That's, that's, that's real that's big. big. Big Ben looked good, like, in the beginning of the game, he looked a little shaky, but then he got it together. So mm -hmm. I think Juju, if you got Juju, you should be happy right now. That was a good pick. Yeah, well, that was my week one. I got the victory on the week two. Last, last on thing, week two. <laughs> last thing I want to say: credit is given when credit is due. <laughs> <laughs> so <clears throat> I would definitely give credit to Ja. Because <laughs> I tried to tear the New Orleans defense apart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So look, see, I tried to, I tried to do it, and them boys came to play. You know what I'm talking about? Hey. It looked, it looked, it looked spectacular out there. So I remember about watching the game, like, but I will, oh, I, no, I, 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 show. I'll, I'll say, say this: going, play. going into Week One, I don't think anybody would have had New Orleans doing what they did versus Tampa Bay. Nah, I will but they say did that. It, they did it though. I mean, but they did it. That's over there. But, but they did. Indicative of Tom Brady in Tampa or not? I think, I think not, it is. I think it's. I think it's a two part thing. My bad. I'm gonna. I'm gonna no, no, go, go ahead, I think go it's a two part. I think it's a two part thing. Only because he he really touched on everything that happened in the game. Like he was mm -hmm. like, "Oh, you don't think it's your Jenkins? Hey, you like, did. Big six. <laughs> hey, hey, that was crazy. <laughs> what did Tom do against your Jenkins in the Super Bowl? You know what I'm saying? Exactly. I'm like, I'm like, boy, I don't care. Just wanna eat him. Big six. Hey, like, hey. Big six. Like, hey. you know what I'm saying? Like, I, and, and, and I want, I want, I want. I told, I told John this yesterday. I was like, man, this is this is one hell of a stat. But Mike Evans, I, hey, I give this. I'm, I gotta give this to Ross though. Ross, Ross told me this though. Oh, Ross told me this though. <laughs> credit, Mike credit. Evans. <laughs> Is like over twenty nine when lined up in front of Marshawn Lattimore like the last. I didn't game. know that. Hey, Lattimore, I mean, yeah. I, that's a hell of a stat. When I, I, I mean, if I knew that, I would hey. be like, man, I'm the, Saint, the, the Saints got a good young defense well, you told, over there. You told me that I had to look up. Like, hold on, nah, that's no he way. Said, that's why you see if you see the NFL top one hundred, Mike Evans don't like Marshawn Lattimore. He's like <laughs> the Saints had a good game. Uh, no, nah, Marshawn Lattimore didn't have a good game, but he yeah. beat him. That's why you think he throwing punches at Marshawn <laughs> Lattimore. Like, Tell <laughs> out, bro. Hey, that's not that deep. They be like, battling out there. One catch, one touchdown. They, they shut that down, bro. I give yeah. you all that. Yeah, that. yeah, they be battling out yeah, there. Credit is given when credit is due. Appreciate it. All right, waiver wire, right? Hey, waiver wire all right, all right, <laughs> Moving into the waivers. Going into the waivers, y'all. These are the – now, usually with the waivers, if a, if a, if a player is under 50% owned, that's usually when we'll bring them up in our show. So, going into this week, we saw the number one guy for me – would be uh, Naheem, uh, Naheem Hines. He had a good game. Just even when Marlon Mack was out there healthy, he was still getting getting his looks. So with him out, I feel like he's definitely going to be out there all passing situations majority of the time. I mean, Jonathan Taylor is going to be the guy, but those passing downs, you can depend on Naheem Hines. You already know with Phillip Rivers, we discussed that this before in our previous show, just – with Phillip Rivers, the way he was with Eckler and Melvin Gordon. So I feel like Jonathan Taylor and Naheem Hines can both coexist in that offense. So definitely Naheem Hines, to me, is the number one guy that I would be trying to go after in the waivers. But so. my question for you, you, you use the number one waiver for Naheem Hines. What is he, a third down back? Is he, is he worth a number one waiver pickup? <laughs> Do you think he can keep up? Like keep up what he did week one? I don't know. I, I, I wouldn't I, use my number one waiver on him. I wouldn't. So who else? Who else on that list would you put? Benny oh, Snell would be my number I, one. Yeah, yeah. B Benny, Benny Snell. Snell would be my number one. Because okay. I mean, depending on um, James Conner's injury, I like AP. Also, Sammy Watkins had a good game. Mm -hmm. He's a good player to pick up. 
Malcolm Brown down at the bottom, 7.9% of leagues. If yeah. you can get your hands on Malcolm Brown, pick him up. He looks like he's the goal line guy over there. As I can see, he looked like the best runner they had running the ball um, against Dallas. So if you can get Malcolm Brown, that would be a good scoop. I mean, honestly, mm -hmm. I feel like somebody that's not on the list, I'm talking about somebody that's not on the list, John o. Smith. Oh, John. Yep, um, yep, yep. Last week. I told you my, my sleeper for the years, John U. Smith. John like, He's a John hey, and, I mean, you called that you I mean, called that back in June. You know, bro. I mean, I yeah, I've been, I've been big on John U. Smith. <laughs> I told you that he's gonna be involved in that Tennessee offense uh, with Delaney Walker gone. John U. Smith scored a touchdown last night. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, potentially he could have won some people their games last night if if, mm -hmm. if they had somebody out there in fantasy land had had John U. Smith. So <laughs> I mean, it is what it is. I like I like Benny Snell. I would probably put Benny Snell number one only because uh, yeah, John James Conner plays there, but James Conner's always hurt, man. I always. Mean, I mean, he got to stay on the field. Like you can't make the club in the tub. We always say that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Benny <laughs> Snell look good running that ball. I ball do, too. Man, he look, uh, he look good. Sammy Watkins. If you can get a piece of that Chiefs offense, yeah. if you can get a piece of it, mm -hmm. then 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 go for it. Like mm -hmm. go for it and stash it. Like if somebody goes down, or or you don't even know, man. Like you put you put Sammy Watkins at the flex. He can give you. He can give you six or he can give you 16. Like, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. he, he, he's involved. I mean, from what I seen Thursday night, the Chiefs as a whole, they're going to involve everybody. But, I mean, I like the, the list is solid. I yeah, would say. Yeah, also, also, uh, also, Anthony Miller, man, people pay, pay close attention to him because there's some, uh, some things getting, there's some things coming out of, out of that camp about, Allen Robinson wanting to be traded, yeah. so he could end up being that number one guy. So oh. even even with Allen Robinson there, he was he was productive yeah. last week. Who got Anthony, Anthony Miller on their team? I'm not too sure. Huh, me. <laughs> oh, man, man. oh, he had to let that be known. Hey, it's like not. Nah. Yeah. But another player I want to highlight is Dallas Goddard. Mm -hmm. He's only owning twenty seven point two percent of ESPN league. If you can get Dallas Goddard, he looks like the tight end to own in Philly. He yeah. catches for 101 yards and a touchdown. He looks mm -hmm. like the guy to own. So if you can get him, pick him up. Yeah, because yeah. I'm having the urge. It's, it's over. He's it's tight over. End. He might be tight end three. Yeah, like, he's, I mean, he's, he's out there catching all the hey, things. Hey, it wasn't full. over the shoulder. <laughs> yeah. like, I got look at track. He looked good. He looked good. He looked good. He looked good. good. He hey. looked good, man. Eight catches, like, mm -hmm. like how many catches did Ertz have? Like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. And how, how Urs, do Urs wants to get get paid. Like, why would I pay you if I got another tight end yeah, right here doing the same thing? Do, damn, he Unless you want to run two two tight end sets, like I don't know. And just to show you how competitive, like the league that we play in is, like uh, amongst us three. Like, mm -hmm. I mean, I'm gonna say between like one, <laughs> two, three, like like three to four players on that waiver wire list. Like they're on rosters. Might be more. Like Naeem Hines is more. on the team. Naeem Hines, somebody yeah. starting. Oh, I Sammy Watkins, Sammy Watkins, Anthony Hines, Hines, Miller. Yep. Yeah. Dallas Goddard, Goddard Malcolm Brown, Malcolm Brown Paris Campbell, those are and Ben Snell. Those guys all, seven they, people they, are already on yeah. teams. They have they, they're on like, teams. Like, we're I competitive. Mean, we we just know these things, man. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to everybody yeah. in our league. Like they're, yeah. they're on top of it. Yep, everybody on top of it. Yeah, they're on top of it. And this is before you can claim them and all that. Yeah, you like you drafted these players like knowing knowing that this might happen week one. Like best players already gone. I ain't worried about this. So that kind of that kind of rounds up the waiver wire. I mean, like AP. I'm not. I mean, if you if you if no, we at running, running if you we get running back, man. if you we get running back, then yeah, I would say go ahead and get AP. But um, that's not somebody that I'd be reaching for. And then MVS. Ah, I'm, I'm it's, nah, nah, it's, nah, it's, nah. It's, it's, you gotta see more from MVS. Yeah, I gotta yeah, see yeah, more of that. Consistent. I wouldn't, I wouldn't pick it. I wouldn't. Pick I wouldn't. It. I, I wouldn't put a waiver. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't put a waiver <laughs> claim in for him. But oh, yeah. another player that you should put a waiver claim in for if you haven't already done so, Devontae Freeman. He's looking to sign to a team this week. He said he has four teams that he's looking to go to. So if you can get Devontae Freeman, I mean, you know, it's it's a it's low risk, high reward. So. Really, if you yeah. can get them, yeah. pick them up. Perfect. So, yeah, yep. Monte Freeman pick up right there could pay off for you down the line. Could pay off for yep. you. But yeah, family, that rounds up our uh, waiver wire pickups. Um, now the uh, stardom sitems, y'all. Uh, okay, yeah, got you. Get y'all right. ready for next week. <laughs> so now, what? Now to y'all, do y'all have any stardoms that y'all? Man, I don't. 
I'm starting my guy There's a there's a couple I'm going off of anybody playing anybody any who who's playing the Atlanta Falcons. Ah, Dallas, Dallas. Start all their wide eyes. <laughs> That's some good. That's some who, good ones. Who's that, going against Minnesota? Who's playing Minnesota? I oh, was. Jonathan Taylor against Minnesota. Yep, start That's him. A good one. Start That's Jonathan a good Taylor. one. When Marlon Mack is out. Start Jonathan Taylor. Um, I mean, I like, I like, I, graphic. I like Ty like Gurley. Nah, nah, I like Ty Gurley going Thomas against Thomas. Dallas. I do like that. Ty Gurley going against Dallas. That's they don't run the same. I mean, I mean, Atlanta. See, I mean, why I'm like, I don't know. But only because I, Todd Gurley only had like 14 carries last week, and it kind of mm. blew me because I had. I mean, them, but but they, but they were down. They were like, down. Yeah, they were in the game. Game, game, game script. script. Yeah, like, yeah, game script yeah. I think this game script would be better against the Cowboys. It'd be a better game. Hopefully, in the red zone more. They can give them a rock. Also, Nick yeah. Nick Chubb. Nick Chubb against the Bengals. Start Nick Chubbs. Don't let last week fool you. Do not let the game last, script yeah. was terrible. It's gonna be they lost like thirty eight six. Yeah, the There's game script wasn't like good. Yeah. So start Nick like Chubbs. They going up against the Cincinnati Bengals. Nick so. Chubb this week. Mm-hmm. That's I think he has no, over hundred yards no, rushing. Nothing no, else. Yeah. Seen what Joshua that. Kelly did the rookie. Yeah. Start Nick Chubb. What Nick Chubb is going to do to this? It's not. It's not the best situation. Have a Kareem Hunt there, but Nick Chubb is going to get his carries when the game script is right, and I think it'll be right this week against the Bengals. Yeah, me too. I agree. All right, then Joe Mixon too. Joe Mixon. Yeah, Joe Mixon gets the Brown shot. Gets the Brown, yeah. That's gonna be a, that's gonna be a good matchup too as well. Um and then Raheem Mostert. I like him going against the the Jets. I mean, we, the Jets, we we saw how awful they was this week. I don't see them getting back on the right track this week at all. So as far as running backs, that's those are the main guys to me. Yeah. I, yeah. Yeah, yeah, he had a good he had like yeah. a, he had like a seventy five yeah, yard yeah, he, screen pass for, like, for real. Like the message, it's a lot of I mean like what I got to say about the stardom system is like don't go trading all your players <laughs> after week one and after week one like don't don't yeah. oh Michael Thomas only put up three I mean <laughs> even though we know no, no Matt shout out to Matt we know you're never gonna trade Michael Thomas like yeah. don't, don't send nothing Matt for Michael, for Michael Thomas but like don't go trading your players. Like, I mean, yeah, yeah, off weeks. I mean, a lot yeah. of players. Like, mm-hmm. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm trying to think of some players that didn't do what they were supposed. Like Saquon. Like, come Saquon, on, man. Like, yeah. Nick Chubb. Nice. Nick Chubb. Yeah, trade, people, people might see Kareem guys, Hunt man. like out carried him. Like he had more carries. They might be like, let me trade Chubb right now. Yeah. Who else? Um, now, if you got somebody in your Ac- like Eckler, 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 it's gonna be better weeks for these Eckler, guys. It's gonna be better weeks. If you got somebody like in your Eckler, league that is, Evans, like, that's dumb enough to make that trade, then go ahead and make that trade. <laughs> if you got somebody that's willing to do that, then make the trade. Like, oh yeah, those are players to buy right now. If you can get Nick yeah, Chubb, yeah, if you can buy get him, him, get him on the low, then yeah, go ahead and do that. But if, if you, you have Nick Chubb, league, don't do it. If you got somebody in your league stupid that want to trade Saquon Barkley. <laughs> Don't Go get Saquon <laughs> Barkley. <laughs> this is your time. This after, is it. after bad weeks, is this your is time it. to I'm go buy right now, players. This is it. At low <laughs> cost. At yeah, low yeah. cost. Like, for Saquon, that's it. Like yeah. last night, that's the bad. That's game. the worst game. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like Michael Thomas. Yeah, that's it. Somebody in your game. league, like, yeah, you oh, I'll, I'll give game. you four players for Michael Thomas. I, I mean, I'm, I would probably take that for my best player. Somebody, somebody, <laughs> somebody, depending on who, you, who those four players are, if you trade me for my top pick, I need your top pick though. Yeah, regardless. But if you traded me, like, if you would have to send the house <laughs> to get my best player, and even if my best player didn't do anything yesterday, it would be a no. Yeah. I mean, by week four, if he's still bumming it out, I'm yeah, like, Look, uh, you gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> He's group on group chat. He's on the he's on the trading block. Send me offers. <laughs> but uh, you know, outside uh, of that, I mean, nah, just don't panic at the week one, man. Do not week panic. One, trust me, do not don't panic. panic. Yeah. Now, as far as uh, wide receivers, we can get into that. But Stardom's like, as far as don't panic. Uh, you had Mike Evans. Mike Evans scored a touchdown. You know, so I will. Well, he only him. had one reception for two yards. Yeah, still yeah, don't panic. Yeah, don't panic. He, I, he wasn't supposed to play this week. He, yeah, he, he still scored a touchdown. And he's I going to say that. One <laughs> and, a tug. Yeah, so, yeah. Man, please, he wasn't supposed to play this week. Please don't. don't. And they're going. And they're going to bounce back this week. They're going against Carolina. So mm-hmm. I'm. I'm starting him. I'm starting. Um, I'm starting Godwin. In that matchup, uh, Fournette might get a little worse. I mean, and uh, Ronald Jones might get a little worse. That's, that's still if I don't know. I mean, Ronald Jones looked like he was getting more than Fournette that week, but I, 
I don't know how that's gonna work out. I think Fournette's gonna end up taking that over. I mean, that they traded for him, so that's that's I mean, that's a done deal. That backfield, oh, no, they I don't want no part, part of that. I don't want no Off part way. of that Tampa backfield. It looks it looks it looks messy back there. Like, yeah, that's yeah, how I feel. Yeah. But, but, but at, the, at the same time, we can go back to Malcolm Brown. That's kind of how I feel about the Rams backfield. I understand, but right. when it comes to Malcolm Brown, like it seems like he's gonna be the guy in there when they're close to the goal line. Okay, mm-hmm. he scored two right. touchdowns within what five yards. But it was. I mean, we really didn't see Tampa in the in the in the red zone too much. That's true. So it could be. It could be. That's true. That. That's it could true. be Fournette. But we don't know. I mean, I mean, twenty to twenty. It yeah, was that's definitely true. Ronald Jones. Because I mean, they got they got Fournette late in training mm-hmm. camp too. So he's still he's, he's still he's still trying. Yeah, yeah. Offense. Mm-hmm. But, uh, I do feel like a couple more reps and they find out who's who. Mm-hmm. Then at the end of the day, I feel like yeah, Fournette will overtake that job. Oh, yeah. Fournette will out snap Ronald Jones. I think Ronald I Jones agree. sold enough to be a mm-hmm. part of the offense. Like, I agree with he, that. He, he, he ran hard. Mm-hmm. I think Ronald Jones ran He scored a touchdown, right? No, no, no. Tom, Tom snuck it in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But he, he was running. What he, I think he had like 17 carries for like 70, 70 yards. Like, yeah, he ran yeah. hard. He ran yeah. hard against that New Orleans defense. We say was <laughs> hey, no he had to throw that in there. Man. Had to throw that in there. Man, it might be the pick of the year, boy. <laughs> but the other yeah. receivers, other other receivers that I have, um, Adam Thielen, going against uh, the Colts. I he's like a, that. He's a start him every week. Yeah, folks. yeah, 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 yeah. I like. I, yeah. I, I, start him every week. I, I like Big. that. <laughs> Allen Robinson. That, Allen Robinson <laughs> against the Giants. I, I like that. Yeah. Now we I don't know. About, I don't know. Adam Robinson, he, he might not even step on the field on Sunday. <laughs> he might they not. don't give him that contract. Then, like, like one of our one of our waiver one of our waiver claim, waivers uh Anthony picks Miller. was Anthony, Anthony Miller. Miller. So that could be a good that could be a sneaky uh start right there for you. You know what I mean? Um and then Odell, I think Odell will get back right. I know we talked about Baker and his productivity and that offense and we but I think that they, they should get back right. They going against um Sensi, right? Yeah, the Bengals. Yeah, they're going against the Bengals, so Odell should get back right that game. And if he doesn't, then yeah, we definitely yeah, then it's Baker. That, hey, then you panic. Yeah. Hey, it's <laughs> Baker. Yeah. I'm yeah. blaming yeah. Baker. Yeah. Bro. Yeah. It's yeah. Yeah. all yeah. the blame. Bro. Wake so. up feeling dangerous. I don't want to hear that shit. Bro, like, what's that? Bro, yeah, right, yeah. right. Score. Score. Put up six points. Six points. I took an L to that. You're giving the ball up to this nigga, bro. Hey, throw a touchdown pass, man. Field goal. Come on, bro. True, Come on. True, We're not even putting points up, son. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even you. Hey. What are we doing here? Brutal yeah. hey. We're in the red zone. Unless you got Jarvis Wait, Landry. In the red zone? Like, they were trash, Unless you got Jarvis Landry because he gets catches and he's going to get his yards. But mm-hmm. Odell. Uh, Odell needs the big play. Yeah, after yeah, this week, yeah. if Odell don't do nothing this week, Panic. Yeah, panic. Yeah, panic. Panic. Put him on the trade block. Tell, tell, tell Odell to take down all his brown stuff. Yeah. Bro, I'm, 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 I'm like, I'm out. Go. I'm not get on the field. I need to go. I need to go. I know there's teams that can use me. 31 other teams can use you. Yes, 31. Yeah, 31. 31. All 31. So those are the starts for the wide receivers. Now, tight end. Tight end, I, I got Jared Cook going against the Raiders. I feel like he can be solid there. Then you got Tyler Higby. I think he bounces back versus the Eagles. Mm-hmm. Um, Mark Andrews versus the Texans. I don't even know that they, they, you, you're going to start him regardless. Like, that, I mean, yeah, that's yeah, the, yeah. That, he's, that's he's the, starting tonight. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can't put him in. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So, he's he's you start, uh, start him and forget it. TJ TJ <laughs> Hawkinson, TJ Hawkinson for the Packers. I, feel, the I mean, Packers? I'm t- versus, versus the Packers. What's your, what's your reasoning for that one? Yeah. I mean, he, he had a solid week. He he scored a touchdown uh, this past week, didn't he? I don't like Hawk. TJ Hawkinson? I, I mean, don't like Hawk. Galladay yeah. wasn't in there. That's what I mean. <laughs> Galladay wasn't in sleeper, there. Bro. My sleeper start uh, tight end for the week is tight end Dan Arnold for the Arizona Cardinals. And I will tell you that they're going against the Redskins. Right, last week Redskins did not look good good versus the tight ends at all. Yeah, we, we, oh, yeah, yeah. we discussed Goddard with we the one on one. Uh, how many fantasy points did Goddard put up? Like what, twenty something fantasy like, points? Yeah, I think he put like twenty something. But so, I Ertz, Ertz crazy, scored a touchdown too. Yeah, we talked about yeah. Ertz. and then Ertz <laughs> talked about Zach Ertz, like Zach Ertz against what we say, Troy Ackby, Landon yeah. Collins, and Cam Curl in coverage. No, like that's not, <laughs> yeah. that's not my no. beloved Washington football team. If we had eight sacks, like we held it down, like our mm-hmm. defense. Just like my man Reezy said, it's a new era. Like, it's a new mm-hmm. era. Yes. Like, we're getting that quarterback. We're going to get all those strip sack fumbles and all that. Yeah. But mm-hmm. 
if a quarterback has enough time to throw and Kyler Murray is going to be able to get away more than Carson Wentz is, we're yeah. going to get big sacks. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. Carson Wentz, you know what I'm saying? We see mm-hmm. Chase Young coming, you're going down. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. God, hey, man. Chase Turn. Young. See, I'm shout down. out Chase right. Young. Yeah, shout out, shout out to the rookie, <laughs> rookie of the year, defensive rookie of the year. I wish it was an overall. I wish it was an overall pick for that. <laughs> that's, so that's, some, that's so dumb. But I'm thinking that. Yeah, I mm-hmm. I, I, I agree with. Uh, Dallas yeah, but that's Goddard, a that's a that's a sleep time. a sleep starter. That's a sleep starter. So don't reach for. I mean, if you if you have a a tight end like like Waller, like don't. Yeah. Say, I'm, don't put Dan all normal. Yeah, don't put Dan all <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, don't do that. But, some tougher matchups than put Dan. If, you, yeah, if yeah. you streaming tight ends and yeah, Dan Arnold, tight ends, is, Dan Arnold, that's a good pick. It's a good sleeper little pick this week. Um, and quarterbacks, uh, quarterbacks, Aaron Rodgers versus the Lions. I like that matchup. I think hey, that's going to be a high scoring let's game. Talk about Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> a little bit. He showed me a lot. Yeah. Yeah, on so Sunday, he, he looked he good. He, he looked did. like the old Aaron Rodgers. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like everybody had him as a set. I'm like, don't everybody. don't he start Aaron Rodgers this week. <laughs> My man went for thirty. 30. So that, that that's one guy you can never count out. Yeah, nigga, it's that's Aaron Rodgers, man. man. I look at that as an F you to Green Bay. Y'all want to drive? Oh yeah, that up? too. Yeah, that yeah. too. Nah, yeah. hey, <laughs> that definitely. Give you, give you all. This guy's gonna go to field this year. We're gonna show you. That definitely added fuel to the fire. he would never see the field this year. As long as, as long as twelve, as long as twelve, as long as twelve, as long as twelve, Lil Wayne. As long as twelve is the quarterback for Green Bay, Jordan Love would never see the field. As long as Devontae Adams is just wide out, he would never see the field. Yep. He would mm-hmm. never ever see the field, bro. Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. the way that 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 chemistry. I mean, Devontae had like one fifty six. Hey, he. Like, I mean. Psh- <laughs> they just move the ball. You just can't put eight in the box with Aaron Rodgers there and Devontae out mm. there. Like, he's, it's just everything's open. Dog. I mean, that's why I would say, like, Aaron Jones. Devontae Adams. Yeah, they, they looked all right, man. They looked all they right. Look, Minnesota they look good. This is weak to me because they lost a lot of corners. Yeah, it's not, yeah. They're not last the same. Week, last week, we was talking about Trey Waynes being there, and Trey Waynes is definitely in Cincinnati. I, 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 I was looking Stat at check, stat like, check. I was like, where's, where's Trey Waynes? Yeah, 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 yeah. But he's not there, so. I mean, Dang, why you had to put us out there like that, bro? Right, you, you got to. Somebody should look at He's not there. Come on. Yeah, but oh, the other man. starters, I'm, I'm gonna get through these quick, man. Uh, Matt Ryan versus the Cowboys, mm. uh, Dak Prescott versus the Falcons, Drew Brees going against the Raiders, and then Josh Allen going against Dolphins. We and with Josh Allen, we saw what Cam Newton did versus him. I think that's gonna be the same. That's gonna be they're gonna they're gonna do the, the same thing that yeah. the Patriots did. I mean, he's going he, he probably could get what one or two rushing touchdowns, sneak him in. Mm-hmm. I mean, so I like Josh Allen uh, this week going against Miami, and um, that rounds up our stardoms. Um, as far as sitems. Ah, uh, running back Sittums, Antonio Gibson. I I don't like. I mean, we was high on him coming in with with the situation, the running back situation with like AP. Peyton Bar- Barber show over there. Man. Yeah, yeah. We, right need, now, we, see, like Peyton we Bar- need to like, see more from that offense. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, like, yeah. So yeah. who they're gonna go with? Like right now, you don't know who's the guy over they're there. Like out. they're trying to figure yeah. it out. So yeah. it's it's a wait and see type thing. But if you got to start him, start him. And then um, the other running back, uh, DeAndre Swift. Um, I think AP is going to start cutting into his carries. I mean, and then and then the big play that DeAndre Swift didn't make, (laughs) I I wouldn't trust him. My man dropped the. Right in his hand for the game. Dropped oh, it for, for the, the game. game. For the yeah, game. You, you, you're in the doghouse. So, yeah, 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 yeah. I was so, like, bro, did you see that? No. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> Six I, seconds left. I, I, I feel for him. Yeah, yeah. 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 Bro, my heart. He, he's definitely thinking <laughs> about that right now. <laughs> as, oh, yeah. Yeah. as we speak, like yeah. Six seconds left, bro. He gonna think about that for his career. That's yeah, that's your first career. NFL game. Yes. Yeah. First, first NFL game. Gonna be your first touchdown. This is you for being a From you being the man, you being. The man, yeah. like, like yeah. you know, what I'm saying, like Sucks, You're the guy man. that dropped that titty. <laughs> <laughs> You can't even go to the wall. Bar, no bar. <laughs> I have his mask on. Is that Swift? Yeah. So I would. I would. I would. I don't know. It's, 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 I would steer away from him this week. And then also Mark Ingram. I he's a sit him for me, man. Oh, like, Mark Ingram whoa. was a starter for me last whoa, week. Whoa. I start him. Diamonds look good. Diamonds nah, look nah, good I'm not gonna say Diamonds look good. Diamonds got the scoring opportunities. They both. 
I think they Mark Ingram had like 29 yards. Dobbins had 27 yards rushing. Dobbins, get in there. You know why? He scored the touchdown. Scored the touchdown. Hurry up, cause you look good. So I don't know. I don't know. I think, I think Mark Ingram. It's, it's, it's better. It's better games for Mark Ingram. It's better games. I like Dobbins. I'm concerned. I'm concerned. I'm, I'm, concerned. Like I'm concerned with that situation. I'm concerned with it, man. I, like I think that's gonna be a running back uh, by committee moving forward. I mean, I, I, I yeah, I look, I like, 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. So I mean, but I so think Mark Ingram gets more carries. Now, you think even so? even what's the third running back? Yeah, get more Gus? carries. Gus Edwards had 15 um, touches. Real? Yes. Wow, I said I didn't. That's, I didn't know I, that. I didn't know that. Like, even like, Gus you know, Edwards is getting that. touches. I didn't know that, man. Like they they, so, they playing three running backs. Yeah, so Mark Ingram, I'm iffy. Everybody's man. eating over there. <laughs> you get a carry. You get a carry. <laughs> <laughs> and the yeah, quarterbacks. You don't want that. Quarterbacks Derek Carr versus the Saints. <laughs> the Saints, I think they shutting that shit yeah, down. Shutting that shit down. Tyrod Taylor versus the Chiefs. Yeah, ah, I'm not really rocking with that. You one. Might think the matchup is good, but the Chiefs defense. They look and okay then, out there. I feel like, okay, look, look, look bold prediction. <laughs> uh-oh. Uh-oh. Like, uh-oh. This, it's early. <laughs> it's early, but this might be the game we see Justin Herbert. Okay, look. <laughs> I, I don't know this game, but next game ah, for sure. Okay. The Chiefs, it could be the game, the though. Chiefs, the Chiefs, I mean, the Chargers, they're known for having a good defense, but the Bengals offense put up, I want to say... 13 points, right? It was 13 16 or something like that. It was 13 16. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Chiefs offense to the Bengals offense. If we're going off of this, and I don't, and Tyrod does not throw the ball down the field. His longest completion was like 30 yards at the end of the half because it was in a two minute offense. Like he's not looking downfield. That dink and dunk stuff. Nah. You're gonna have to be in the game. And that's not gonna you're work. Gonna to, you're gonna have to get in the game again. It's not gonna work going against the Chiefs. They're gonna it's be down. They're the gonna be down like, big. They're gonna, they're gonna be like, look, look, off the break. If the Chiefs get the ball first, seven nothing. <laughs> like, 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 what are you gonna do? What are you gonna, gonna do? do? It's either gonna be the Hilaire show, gonna, the Walking yeah. show, Tyreek Hill yeah. show, who, Kelsey. Kelsey show. Like, yeah. so many people were like, like, bro, like, you, we, uh, Tyra, we need you to throw the ball more than twenty yards this week. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and Justin Herbert, like, you know, he warming up on the sideline. He, <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's like, ready to he's go. Ready. Yeah, like, yeah. So, probably, you know, Keenan, like, hey, bro, I had 40 yards last. We might have to put this I game see that. Head. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, say, like, I, I see that game going way out of hand. That Edward game's going to get way catch. out of hand. Mm-hmm. That's what these it's players gonna be, are going to be asking. So, you, you, you might, yeah, you might be right. Her, Herbert probably is going to see some that's time. That's the old prediction, though. Not enough. I mean, not enough to start him. I mean, he was enough. He was probably like around like the. Thirteen, like he's like ten to fifteen. I'm, I'm not. I'm, I'm just going off guessing. Yeah. Ten to fifteen, but he's mm-hmm. not. He ain't good enough for. He wasn't really checking consider. for Tyrod. No, yeah. no, like, <laughs> he's, not even a, he's not even a waiver wire pickup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Like, no, you know what I'm saying. No. We're not even asking about. Nah, man. He he managed the game against. Oh, the oh hold on, hold on, hold on. How much you say yet? I said probably like ten to fifteen. 8.7. Eight oh, man. <laughs> I said 10 to 15. Like, yeah, that's against Cincinnati. You got to do better. So Justin yeah. Herbert, even if Justin hey. Herbert throws picks, like this might be the game we hey. see Justin Herbert. We might see Justin Herbert. They're going to be like, yeah. bro, we're getting blown out. You need to throw the ball on the field. Exactly. 10-yard completion. 8-yard <laughs> completion. No, bro. <laughs> Get <laughs> out of here. Chuck, and basically, we shut down, down time, bro. We're down 30. 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 Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> you're done. You're done, you're done son. son. You're done. You shouldn't be starting in your lineup. Shouldn't be starting, lineup. No more, shouldn't be starting your lineup. He, yeah. he probably should be on, on in, in one of the free agents. So no, oh, he shouldn't be. Have, did you have Joshua Kelly on the waiver wire pickups? I didn't. I didn't. No, no, I, I missed that one. No, he he definitely. Yeah, that's another. Player that's definitely a guy Joshua that Kelly. could be Joshua, Joshua Kelly. Kelly. We gotta talk def- about Joshua def- Kelly. You Austin Eckler owners do not be alarmed, but be, be aware. Though. Is here. <laughs> yeah. But he's Beware. here. But he's here. But he's here. He's arrived. Mm-hmm. Like Austin Eckler himself even talked it up. Like, hey, bro, Joshua Kelly, if he gets some touches, like he's going in. Like, mm-hmm. I mean, he had twelve carries, like sixty something yards, and a touchdown. I think twelve for sixty in a touchdown. Yeah, twelve for sixty in a touchdown. Yeah. yeah. Like that's mm-hmm. solid. Right there. It's a yeah. rookie. That's a rookie. Yeah. Fresh legs too. You know how they love them fresh legs. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, mm-hmm. we just paid you, but uh. Wait, how much money we get if we let you go? Like, I mean, it's week one, so we're not going mm-hmm. go there. We're not going go there. By week four, we're going to see what they look like. But he looking like the Melvin Gordon role. Like, he took over that Melvin Gordon role for Austin Eckler. Yeah, and I think yeah. that Justin Herbert will get Austin Eckler the ball better than Tyrod Taylor showed me. Because I think Justin Herbert would have got him the ball against the Bengals. Yeah. 
That's yeah, that that was a that was supposed to be a gravy matchup for Tyrod, and he didn't come through. So definitely, I'm I wouldn't be urgent. I wouldn't. I, he should be a free agent. Yeah, yeah. He, he shouldn't <laughs> he even be. On, he shouldn't agent. be on anybody's. Ro- he shouldn't be on anybody. Don't waste roster. a roster spot. Yeah, he especially they were talking about playing the league where you don't have. Then it, was the ma- it was the matchup. Accusations. It was the matchup. He ain't come mm-hmm. through. Do not pick up Tyrod Taylor. Do not pick up Tyrod <laughs> All right. Dennis so- and Jack was talking big about him. <laughs> <laughs> Dennis and Jack. <laughs> now, wide receivers, Um, I'll go through these quick, man. Devontae Parker versus the Bills. Nah. Not cutting that. No, that's not going nah. Not your Davis locking that nah. up. Nah. I feel you on that. Cortland Sutton, we don't even know if he's going to be out there next week. Who they that's, play? They play the Titans. Nah, they played the Titans this week. The Broncos played the Titans yesterday. Uh, uh, <laughs> who the heck do they play? Who the heck do they play? Cortland, Cortland, I don't know who they play. Who the Broncos? I don't know who the Broncos play. The Broncos? We yeah. can figure it out, trust me. We about to have yeah, but we'll we'll, we'll move on. We'll we'll come back. Yeah. We'll come back to that. Um Jameson Crowder going against the 49ers. He had a big week. Sit him? They played Pet. They played they played. Jameson played the pit. Denver played Pitt. Denver oh, played Pitt. Pitt. That's, that's everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You don't, don't want to start, start anyone. Nobody. <laughs> no, that, do not start anybody that plays for Denver this week. Mm. No start. Mm. <laughs> no, no, no ball, bro. Yeah, I seen him. For real. I just seen, bro. And I'm not. Ben I'm Chubb. not playing. Saquon Barkley. Y'all was just big on Saquon and Daniel Jones. Uh, Saquon <laughs> Barkley yeah. just like thugged out nine points, bro. Dugged it out. Dugged it out. In a half PPR, <laughs> half PPR league against Pittsburgh defense, bro. Like, like no. Do not start. And, and Melvin Gordon is average to Saquon Barkley. Yeah, That's what yeah, I'm saying. Yeah. Like, the type of caliber of player, no, you can't start. Like, yeah, Judy's my guy, but he's definitely going to be there. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like, right, bench everybody. Yeah. Yeah. But then uh, Jameson Crowder versus the 49ers. He had a big week previously, but he's not doing that against the 49ers. Why you don't think that, though? <sighs> That's 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 a good question, man. But I, I I just don't think that they gonna. I think the 49ers defense is gonna get back right this week. I think they are gonna step back up. It's not. And then it's the Jets. It's the Jets. But I see a lot of garbage time for him. Like I see a lot of garbage time for for Jamison Crowder. Like, <sighs> like they they're gonna be down like what. 17, 17 nothing. <laughs> <laughs> My thing is, who they got out there? It's gonna be a long like week for this. Sam Donald. It's all, it's all about, it's, it's all about the game week. script with that they're one. Mad coming off that, 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 that off definitely. That like, San Fran's coming. They got travel. Up, they got travel across the country. Oh yeah, they're gonna be ready. Like, like, like <laughs> most of them are gonna be like, yeah, bro, licking their chops. Yeah. <laughs> they trying to say Chase Young better than me. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but I think the 49ers get back right. You you you're right. It could be it's all about the game script. It is about the game script. But how that goes. Right, though, they could shut it down. Uh Titans. Jimmy Graham, don't don't trust what you saw this previous week. Uh I don't think he gets an end zone this week. What did he do? He scored a touchdown. He, he, he did. He scored. Score. I mean, he was solid, but I wouldn't don't trust don't trust him. Don't, don't trust, trust him. Uh, yeah. Nah, 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 nah. I would go and then Mike Gasecki. I wouldn't start him. Um, he's going up against Buffalo too. So we already discussed that Buffalo. No, that's not happening. And then Eric Ebron going against the Broncos. I don't. I don't like that matchup. Yeah, Simmons might. might get ah, that. but but John was scored against the Broncos. John, John was scored against the Broncos. And, and Ebron, I mean, John, 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 who, John who was wide open though. He ain't had to beat nobody for that touchdown. <laughs> True, but I mean, you got the Broncos' defense acc- accounting for Deontay Johnson and Juju Smith. Ebron might sneak. That's out. True, that's true. I mean, but I, I agree, mean, I I'm, not, I'm not gonna say he's. A, I'm not gonna say he's not a sit <laughs> I'm not gonna say he's not a sit because I see. I see you know, where you're coming from. But he he could sneak. He could sneak one mm-hmm. in there. But I mean, what's the John will have like forty yards? I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I mean, I, I see where you coming from, John. Uh, yeah. But uh, but that's the sit That's the sit y'all. <laughs> Yep. Yeah, like five so, I mean, that's the show for the week, y'all. Um, is there anything y'all want to add to? I'm getting the dub, EK. Hey, hey, EK. Hey, hey EK. <laughs> Bet coming your way, EK. As far as like, who y'all got started, like, who are you looking to kill for you? If you think, like, some players on my team. On my team? Who I need to Dalvin kill. Dalvin Cook. We need our top picks. We always need our top picks to no, ball. Yeah. yeah. We always need our top picks to ball. I need a I need a big um, week from Dalvin Cook. I guess, I guess who's the person that you don't expect on your team? 
Did you, did you like, please, like, cross oh, your fingers? Jarvis me, Landry. Fingers crossed. But they big way from Jarvis Landry playing Cincinnati. For me, it's, it's Sammy Watkins. <laughs> right there. Yeah, I'm about to say, it's for me, Sammy, for it's, me Sammy, it's, it's, it's Michael Gallup. Like, I need, yeah, I need Sammy Watkins, because I got Michael Gallup. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Punch above his right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, I need him to come through. I need him to come through. I mean... I just hope that Dallas office don't look like it did in fucking Los Angeles. <laughs> I mean, yeah, outside of Zeke, yeah. like hey, outside Zeke, of Zeke look good out there running yeah, the ball. Zeke yeah, look man. good running the ball. They going, they going, they going, they going against Atlanta though, right? Yeah. So he should, yeah, he should, he should, should bounce should back. Yeah. He should bounce back. Yeah, yeah, I, I, mean, I see Gallup scoring the touchdown. I see Gallup. I hope he does. I hope he does. Right. Because I know, I mean, it's a lot of teams. And oh yeah, last thing, what I would say, I would go out on this. Don't worry about projections. Yeah, do ESPN, not. ESPN uh, or IBM Watson. Y'all been seeing these commercials. Like, <laughs> don't step on any cracks. Hey, you got Larry Fitzgerald. Larry Fitzgerald popping up. You're guessing hey. like I am. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Larry Fitzgerald popping up. IBM Watson got you. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, nah, bro. Nah, nah, nah. Set your lineups accordingly. If you if you listen to the show, then, you know what I'm saying? Take our, I, I hope you take our advice, but don't don't blame it on us if you're if you're wrong. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Go with, yeah. Got. Go with what you yeah, have. Go with your gut. But always. At the end of the day, if you know football, then set your lineup accordingly and do your thing. Go out there. Uh, at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying. I took the L, but I can still kick it with my mans and say I had fun. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They go. Oh, trust me. They both let me hit. <laughs> <laughs> like, they oh, yeah. both let you me hit. Like, boy, you about to go into this thing, and you're the only one with the L. <laughs> but, but still, like. I'm always gonna have fun. We always gonna have fun. We always, always gonna chop always. it up and disagree mm -hmm. and agree. But it's all about having fun and set your lineups accordingly. Don't care about projections, as you can see last week. That didn't matter. All everybody here outscored mm -hmm. their projections, even me, and I yeah. lost. So yeah. set your lineups accordingly and just have fun. And then also, right, also, if y'all got any questions, if y'all got any questions that y'all have for us as far as who to start in your lineup, or send us, send us your lineup, and we can try to, you know. Give our, give our advice on who you should start, who you should sit. You know what I'm saying? Put that in the comment. They, if you're in the league, put uh, take a snapshot of your, uh, of your uh, team and put it under the comments, and then we'll try to let y'all know who to start, who to sit, any yeah, questions best like advice, that. Best advice. Best advice. Yeah. And then also, and then also, once again, y'all, follow our Instagram page, The Fantasy with SJC. You know what I'm saying? And just show us some love. You know, we give love back, you know? So that's the show, y'all. We're going to wrap it up. <laughs> One love. We'll see y'all next week. Hey, one love, one love. EK is coming to bet. <laughs> hey, Steven, I'm about to, yeah, get at you, boy. <laughs>